Okay, gamers and game match, what is going on? My name is Tanek127, and welcome back to another video. And before we get into today's video, guys, as usual, let me go ahead and give you all a big fat disclaimer. This game, Kiki, an early copy of um, Skyforge for Nintendo Switch, was supplied by my.com. I know this is a guide, but I am inclined to tell you guys that legally and yada, 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 yada. But you guys know there's always honesty and straight up over here on Tanek127 Game, especially if you've been around the channel for a while. You already know what it is. So the reason I wanted to go ahead and make a separate guide on this today, and by the way, we are straight up looking at Nintendo Switch gameplay now, which is um awesome. I'm doing this recording straight from my Switch. Uh, I wanted to talk to you guys about Bastions. I made a beginner's guide, and I completely forgot to bring up Bastions, which is another way to raise your might. And in all fairness, Bastions aren't really an early game thing. They're more so end game ish well, me personally, I like to save them for endgame because I like to just unlock them all after doing all my provinces and then knocking them out. But we're going to start here in the province of Satria so I can show you an example. You'll notice when you get to the end of it, after you beat Alakur Island, which is the last area, there's a bastion there. And then you'll probably notice when you go to the Pantheon Plateau, you look at the end of it, there's a bastion there. Go to the end of Linos, there's a bastion there. And so on, so forth, yada, 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 you, you, you get the idea by now. So you're probably wondering, after I lacked in sharing that information in my guide, what the heck is a bastion? Well, a bastion is another tower, except this one works differently. So you know how you have your um, your tower of knowledge where you increase your might through enemy knowledge. You have your cathedral where you increase your might through credits. Well, a bastion allows you to increase your might and add perks and abilities to your character and create builds through quests. Now, for example... Right when you look here at this um at this Satria Bastion, when you start it, you get initial development. Every single one of these nodes, right? Look at them as like a tier on a battle pass. Every single one of these nodes have a certain amount of quests that need to be completed. Now, when you look at these quests, they're real simple stuff. Like um for this one, it's complete the Danket Island adventure. Go run Danket Island. Boom, that's one quest done for it right there. For this one, go be go kill Kumas and Antrius Caves. Kill 40 enemies. This is your typical MMO questing style objectives. You just go and and do these and kill however many enemies or do whatever dungeon it wants you to do and yada yada. And that's how you clear up your bastion. Now, as you as you clear these up, like I said, you're going to unlock these little beautiful nodes right here. These nodes can give you new abilities that you can add to any class... Mind you, so these are what people use to make um, pretty decent builds. Like, for example, if you see a if you see a um, a light binder that's you know doing their regular spells, but they also fire this little red beam right here called the um, called the emblem of destruction. And this is something that that um, that I have on on my light binder. You're probably wondering, that's not a light binder attack. Well, where did it come from? Well, it, they probably got it from a Bastion node, and you throw these abilities onto your character right here, where I'll show you guys. They come right here under Symbols, and this is where you really manage your builds up and what kind of extra stuff you want to put on different classes. And you really want to do these Bastions because, um, not like I said, not only do they give you these, these, um, these great perks... But in the end, they also increase your might, which in the end is also going to increase your rank, which is going to you know, make you stronger to run more higher end content, have better stats, and yada, yada, yada. So once you finish all your provinces, you want to start focusing on your bastions. Now, don't get me wrong. Like I said, bastions aren't exactly an endgame thing. I just personally save them for endgame because what I like to do is... Like I said, I like to run through every province, snatch up all my Bastion quests, and just knock them out while I'm raiding, doing dungeons, farming gear, and stuff like that. But you can start collecting your Bastions early. As you guys can see, I'm not finished the campaign yet, but I already have my Satria Bastion active and almost halfway done. So if you want to knock these out sooner, you can pick them up as you finish your provinces. But anyway, guys, if this guide helped you, be sure to smash that thumbs up button for me. And I want to thank you all so much for watching. It's your boy, Tanek127. And please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Till next time, peace out. Take care.